Alright, so this is basically just an extra reward if you do that. This is nothing, so I don't know why I should explode it. Um, a group of wolves is being very protective and territorial. They are launching an attack on you. Ooh. If we now complete this devious, we gain a lot more. Ooh. Um. All right. It's a little bit too far away. Oh no. <laughs> Did we just insult a wolf and the wolf was able to understand us? And he was like, oh no. We are poking the. Well, we are really poking the wolves, to be honest. To be exact. Wait. <laughs> Maybe I should have used the, the Canadian for this. Alright, I think if I'm correct, I think this lady is very good with uh, speed abilities. is going pretty well. I am guessing that it will not not be as easy later in the game. Look at that. A lot of rewards though. The best way to beat such animals is by showing them who's boss. The wolves can intimidate wolves become intimidated by your presence and flee. The fleeing wolves are followed by crying pups. They make away safely. Oh, it's a good thing that I didn't kill them then. Or else the pups will come back for revenge. I doubt it though. The crew traverses an area that looks like it has never been trodden before. Jan Piet finds a weird colorful stone that looks valuable. The crew goes to take a look. Sadly, closer up the stone doesn't look so fancy at all. The crew just waves it away as some common pebble. Earl, however, thinks there is more to the stone and jots down some observations before leaving. One study. How many supplies do we have left? Three. That's good then. There's another weird colorful stone. It looks as worthless as the other one, but the crew is starting to think there is something up with this with this stone. One study if I do it riskless. Three study if I do it with risk. But if I fail, I get minus 10 armor, whatever that means. Do I have armor? Can I upgrade these people? Gain the engineer combustion perk. Did I do it? Hmm. I think we need more survivalist. Right? D did I do it? I didn't do it. 
someone tell me how do I <sighs> they are not very clear with uh, what I am supposed to click if I want to upgrade come on now Maybe I can't do it while I'm uh, doing this. So let's just take the risk. Earl takes another hard look at the red stone but can't possibly find anything noteworthy about it. The crew accepts Earl's analysis and continues exploring. Earl can't stop wondering about the stone dome and is a little distracted. Alright. Now I shall be able to do this, right? Why? Oh, it's the yeah. It's it's a bit hard to see it, game. If you do, if the bar itself is this light green and the letters are white. Let's do the. Let's fully equip this with athlete. I think that's maybe a good way of handling things. And Ivan. Let's do a rogue perk. By the way, I'm not going to read what this all does. Out of nowhere, in the middle of the forest, a huge cliff stands before you. Such a geological rarity often holds some exceptional treasures. Ivan orders the crew to look around. The crew comes back to make an action plan. Earl mentions that there is plenty to find at the foot of the cliff. Maybe a survivalist or athlete will be able to climb the dangerous cliff and look for more specific treasures. Earl will climb the dangerous cliff. Or Jan Piet. I will choose Jan Piet. Hmm. What am I looking for? A quartz, a fossil, or crystals? Out of all of them, crystals are worth the most, right? Looking for treasure here might be dangerous, but after a long search. Young Pete finally finds a real treasure worth taking home. Oh, a sunstone. A clear crystal used by Vikings as a sundial when navigating the seas. This guy says recommended for your current situation. If you think you can know better than Chairman Pinkton, you can disable his recommendations in the settings menu. Um, earth dresses can give gold and research. What does treasure mean anyway? Hmm. Better not to think too much of it. A fantastic find! You are going to be the envy of the renowned explorers with such a rarity. Such a discovery is sure to be appreciated at the renowned explorers. The crew turns its attention back to the big prize on the island, the Druidic Circle. Oh, all the discovery, I feel like the Discovery Channel. It's like I'm in Naked and Afraid, only I'm not naked. And not that afraid. The Druidic Circle must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. I, I will end it because my supplies reached zero. The crew vigorously searched through the, the dense forest. It doesn't take long before you find it. A standing stone circle. The ruined main men here must contain valuable information to study. 
it will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned explorers. However, you hear a familiar laughter. Behind you stands the French explorer Rivaleur, Rivaleur, who is considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. She just got here before you did. Thank you, amateur. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers so shall should help each other out and they really need to take the main man here to impress a lady. Explain all the hard work you had to do to get here. Oh please explorer, we both know that this treasure is better off in my hands. Allow my sharp companion Amir Akhtar to explain it to you in clear words while I take the menu. Starts a rank 2 encounter. Okay. Oh, so before that, we only had rank 1 encounters, I guess. And it looks like this stereotypical Indian guy has a bunch of 1900s London gangsters with him. Alright. Amir thinks you're weak. Oh, that's not good. Amir admires your sharpness. Amir is mildly impressed. So the best way to do this is devious. And they are... Their current attitude is devious. This makes them stronger if you are aggressive, but weaker if you are friendly. Hmm. My guess is I will have to... Mir is the scout of Rivalo crew and a devious bully. He can destroy the confidence of a sentient person by doing so lowers his grit. Mindless follower of Rivalo Rivalo henchman. If I do this It's a one hit KO. You can tank it. I believe in you. Kinda. <laughs> First get rid of all the little people. Wait, how much does he have? 72. He should be done quickly then. Nineteen hundreds London henchman shop probably not hit me. It's my guess. But this will be easy, right? I mean, if I hit them with all three of my crew members, then I shall be done with the big guy, right? Yeah. Amir admires your sharpness. Wow. Amir's stone suddenly changes. Good job, my friend. You are as sharp as a knife. Those who know how to hurt with words are truly mighty. I'd like to pay tribute to you with some research papers. Good luck, my friend. He leaves to follow Rivaleur, who somehow managed to get away with the whole man here. How did he do that? Our words cut like swords, we are very happy about it. Rivalu is gone with the main man here. The most interesting and telling scriptures were on it. Suddenly, a hooded figure appears on the scene. A druid pops out of the forest. Amazing, I saw how you handled that encounter just now. Defeating a foe with insults and manipulation, a remarkable skill. I'm honored that someone like you is looking for a history. Allow me to help with the divination. Please tell me, what is the dream you chase? Become the most famous and respected explorer? 
to be a wealthy and successful adventurer, to make an amazing contribution to your sciences by exploring the world. Uh, probably the second one. The druid smiles. Ah, wealth. I'm sure you will spend it wisely. I'll divine the earth for valuables, but no guarantees. The druid does come chance and urges you to follow him. He suddenly stops and points at the ground. The crew starts to dig and finds a unique treasure surrounded by gold. Amazing! 30% chance gain a treasure by your next claw, 75% chance for Celtic Horned Helmet, and 30% chance for Sea Sapphire. My guess is that the Horned Helmet is the least valuable. So let's hope we don't get the. Okay, we, we got it. Hmm. Hmm. Um, you know, if this guy says this is recommended for me. With this last find, your expedition still concludes on a high note. However, it's clear that if you want to be the most renowned explorer, you will have to beat the Revaleur. Now it's personal. Back to London. Of course, because everything was Im that's important was in London back in those days. I did pretty good, I think. Of course, this is not the classic mode. Uh, let's continue. Exotic locations uncovered in the Irish Isles by promising explorer Yvonne Lefebvre. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this crooked capitalist. Excuse me? Crooked capitalist? Ah, I see. So we need to get as much renown as possible. And we need to get 2500 renown to basically win first place. We will come for you, Virginia James. A magnificent job. The board of the renowned explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you to carry more supplies. Great, tell me more. REIS Honorary Membership, 50 renown and 1 insight. You can spend insight in, so in some cities to earn tokens on the world map. Mm -hmm. And I get 2 supply capacity. Get 30% off El Vigilante's branded canned, canned dog food. Pinkerton tells you, we are pleased that you are aiming to become the number one explorer. However, I wonder if you can beat the already successful Rivaleur. We hope that you will uncover many secrets in your endeavors. The society has many leads as to where secrets may lie in wait. You can do four more expeditions before the most renowned explorer is elected, so make them count. Ah, so we do four more of these explorations or expeditions and then that is basically the end game. Successfully complete expeditions to access new expeditions. Got it. You gather your thoughts to determine your course of action. Uh, gold in shops, status, entourage, insights, resources, research, for unlocking technology. Go more prestigious expeditions and repeat until you beat the French Clown Rivaleur. That seems to be all you need to do to become the world's most renowned explorer. <coughs> Attention explorer, having trouble figuring out what to do next. Click on the re reference guide for a quick reminder of your options. Hmm. I think um, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode I will start uh, preparing and do the next expedition yeah okay so thanks for watching um, subscribe if you want to see more 
and I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.